Yo, what is going on guys? We are back with another SnowRunner mod review and today we're checking out the CCM LR90. I'm super excited for this guys, but do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video and make sure you drop a sub on the channel. We're going to put this bad boy to the test and see what it can do even with the weight from the fuel drums in the back. Let's jump into it. Alright guys, time to customize the CCM LR90 pickup. Very excited for this. Engine, we got default block, performance block, the big block. We're going to go with the big block. It says a complete engine swap to a bigger displacement engine with performance upgrades and noticeable power increase. Gearbox, we're going to take the off-road box obviously. Suspension, we're going to take the tuned custom. Tires, we're going to drop on the fresh gateway. Buckshot mutters, the 35s. The boggers look nice, but I like the rim option that comes with the buckshot a little bit more. Winch, we're going to go with the winch length power plus. Snorkel, tall front facing. Skid plate. Got a bed cap option, fuel drums, or spare tire. I think what we're going to take is the spare tire and the fuel drums. It's cool to see that when you add the fuel drums, it actually weighs it down. Front bumper, front bumper, front bumper. This is cool. We're going to put that on. Rims. We got the truck rim. I don't know what paint option to go with. The white looks kind of nice. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to pull this bad boy out and see what it can do, guys. Alright, so first off, another very ex extremely bland interior. Almost non-existent. But there might be more updates coming on. And this is a really cool concept. Um, one thing I want to note when... I'm not sure if it's noticed, but when the fuel drums were added... It actually pulled the weight down in the truck, so that was kind of cool to see. I don't know how much that's going to affect the actual handling and gameplay. Um, I'm kind of hoping having the weight in the box might actually help just a tiny bit. Let's actually fast forward and keep it daytime. So many different time options here. There we go. The sounds are really nice on this truck so far, I do have to say that. It seems very sturdy. Um, I don't know if, the, again, I don't know how much the weight is going to play a role into how sturdy this feels and so on, but so far it does seem very sturdy. I do like the fuel response or the throttle response. It's not OP, but it's not underpowered either, and we do have the upgraded engine. The snorkel seems to be doing good. We haven't gotten into deep water yet. But we might hit some soon, you just never know. Even in this mod, it seems to be doing just absolutely amazing. Overall, I'm really impressed with how this truck looks and feels while driving. To be able to go through some of the stuff we're going through in automatic, I think, is a huge accomplishment for any truck, any scout, any pickup, and just look how badass it looks sitting here, almost stuck in the mud, but have no fear, it is not stuck at all. We're in automatic climbing out like it is nothing. We're making this mud, we're owning it. We're owning this mud, that is what we're doing. And again, we're still in automatic, trekking through this deep mud with the weight in the truck box. I've really enjoyed a lot of the work that's been coming out of the CCM workshop. A lot of it's really unique, and that's what we need here in SnowRunner. We need a mixture of realism and very unique mods. And something like this really makes sense. Uh, I know some of you might ask, is it coming to console? And I know you'll ask that if it's not on console yet. It doesn't seem to be directly branded or tied in with anything, and I think having the CCM naming and so on, and the very bland interior, really increases the chances of it getting approved console. If it's not there yet, just be patient. It could very well be before you know it. Again, I'd like to touch base slightly on the fact that, you know, content creators and even the mod, developer, the mod developers themselves, they really don't know if a mod is going to make the console. The only people that know that are the SnowRunner developers that test these mods. And of course, there is some criteria you can make sure 
that your mod meets in order for it to get approved on console. There's very obvious certain things that your mod can have which will disqualify it entirely, but I don't think that's the case with this mod. The suspension play and movement on this seems very balanced, and it, it does seem pretty realistic in a lot of scenarios as well. see every bump visually and you almost feel all of them as well and as always guys the mod link will be in the description here's some deeper water let's see how the snorkel does it's not quite at the snorkel mark but we got pretty close it did trek through this no problem which is also nice to see i will say that oh hey <laughs> We, we landed perfectly in that tree. Go figure. I gotta pay a little more attention to my steering. A little less attention to camera angles. And I don't know why I'm going against the current here. This was a bad idea. We actually are not doing anything in this current. The current's pushing against us. Using our weight against us. We're going to have to winch just to pull out of this the winch, thankfully, is very powerful, and it wasn't a problem. And I actually think that this would be a little bit more top-heavy if it wasn't for the fuel drums that are in the back. Because there's been a couple of scenarios where I'm thinking to myself, we are going to tip if we're not careful. I just have to see which way we run along here now. I'm going to take the road. This is a part of the Summer Proving Grounds area that we just haven't seen yet. This little bridge here, which we cruised over, no problem. And again, you can see all the suspension play. There might be a little bit more play noticeable if we didn't have the drums in. I'll admit that for sure. Uh, but it has seemed to balance out the weight distribution in the model just a little bit. Fuel consumption is not OP. It's actually, it seems pretty balanced for this pickup right now. Um, we've almost used half of our fuel so far on this track just with a 60 liter tank. This is really nice up here. Definitely seems like some very, very swampy area. Again, here's where you see that weight balance in this truck. We should have really tipped over there, but we didn't. And, oh! Uh, <laughs> oh, man. And there's another bridge that had just a little bit more separation in it. But this is where we're going to conclude this mod review anyways, guys. 10 out of 10 recommend checking out this CCM. It is really well done. It's really enjoyable, and I think you'd enjoy it. Maybe not quite as much as I did, but I think you'll still enjoy it. As always, guys, make sure you drop a like on the video and drop a sub on the channel. We'll catch you with the next one.